Welcome back to my Animal Crossing New Horizons. I'm Dear Darling. Should we see what's going on on our lovely island of Fawn Hollow today in a rather late night episode? Which, um, there was honestly no reason for this episode to be so late night. I just couldn't, like, be bothered, to <laughs> be perfectly honest. I was just like, you know what? Um, I just felt like playing some random games today, you know, of my own rather than actually uh, recording an Animal Crossing video. Um, so you know here here i am i suppose uh, a little bit late you know before um midnight strikes i suppose <laughs> which is probably as um not quite as last minute as you can get but you know certainly up there with last minute etudes but anyway good, good evening everyone right now in fawn hollow it's 11 44 p.m on tuesday january 23rd 2024 um yeah what am i going to talk about today you know what, actually what I, I was going to talk about today um is skincare which is you know going to be an interesting topic because I, I don't think i've really spoken about it much I, I, i've spoken a lot about makeup i think in these videos but i've not really spoken about skincare um the main reason is i don't think i'm really much of an expert in skincare like you might be like do you do skincare i do actually practice some skincare um the the, the major thing is is my skin is actually like really quite dry skin you know um my, my skin is not oily you know which Honestly, I think has been more of a benefit than it has necessarily been a deficit, um, because it meant that. Um, hold on, I was going to look for this while I, while I remember it. Put it over there. Uh, which has been more of a benefit, I think, to me than a deficit. So you know, deficit obviously you I get very dry, flaky skin, especially my hands, uh, with my tendency to like wash my hands. I suppose more than I think the average person probably does. Um, it has led to my skin like drying out and you know got to be more careful i suppose on summer days or something because then my skin got super dry and flaky you know the, the products i buy need to make sure that they're tailored towards dry skin otherwise you know i'm going to completely like dry out everything um which is i, I would say suboptimal but you know <laughs> so be it that, that just is the way the genetic lottery works i mean while i you know what why it's a deficit i think to have such dry skin i think um, a good benefit is i never got anything like acne I, n I never got developed any skin issues that sort of thing because oil just does not build up on my skin like um there is there, there is nothing i suppose which would be causing issues in like in the first place um so i don't like for, for a long time i didn't really do sort of skincare it was only something i really started to sort of get into have a bit not have a behest of my sister that's the wrong word but like sort of uh she, she gave me some skincare products uh, um i think at christmas which is very thoughtful obviously <laughs> because um she's um knows a lot more about it than i certainly do um because uh, okay i would say for a long time i basically did absolutely nothing which was the, the wrong choice that i would certainly say it, it would be much better to even if my skin is super dry and you know i didn't have to deal with things which most people wouldn't necessarily have to deal with um I forgot what I was going to say about this. It, it, I should still have done something, <laughs> is, is my personal opinion, that sort of thing. Like, at least a little bit of research into it um, and what have you. Um, but but then for like quite a while, for you know many years, I suppose, I basically, the only like moisturization that I did use, like a moisturizer, I used uh, this like Nivea Soft one, which is still my sort of go-to like basic one. To be honest because one it's certainly cheaper than i think a lot of other products but also it's pretty easy you know it's everywhere you know we can always find it uh, i personally use the soft one because i just think it feels nicer personally and you know you can kind of use it like on all your body parts or whatever i would say obviously take everything i say about skincare with a grain of salt because i'm not an expert in skincare i just sort of i'm doing the best i can <laughs> really is how i'd put it um but yeah what was i gonna say um so I'm not really like an expert in skincare and it was only like in recent years I suppose when I start doing more skincare and even then I sometimes get kind of lazy most, most of the times I will just use that moisturizer but you know um the reason I bring it up is because one of my friends like one of his new year's resolutions was basically to practice a skincare routine take better care of his skin and that sort of thing and I was like that's a honestly a very admirable thing I think to, to be at what well, any, any new, new resolu resolution I often see is quite admirable because it's something where it's like yeah you know why not why would I I'm not going to diss someone for trying to improve himself that's like awesome isn't it <laughs> in my opinion um 
but skincare was isn't something I'm particularly knowledgeable. Like my, my my basic knowledge of skincare, like I don't know really much about products. I know that South Korean products go crazy hard in the skincare world, but I know you you know wash your face, use a cleanser, and you know clean off the cleanser, I suppose, and use whatever serums you have, depending on what serums actually you use. I don't know to be perfectly honest. Whatever works well, and then you know use a moisturizer or whatever like afterwards and that's that's it you're, you're done you're done um so so recently i've, I've been like on uptick again because it's certainly something i got lazy with uh, i'll be i'll fully admit i was getting lazy uh, too lazy i suppose to actually do the skincare skincare routine again um i forgot what i was going <laughs> Yeah, but I was basically just being lazy with doing a skincare routine. Like it stopped for stopped for a while. I certainly find myself that um, I'm very much someone like I say this all this time. Not even someone. I think this is like a normal human thing. But diligence is very important to me. I think if I ever want to do something like um, like setting up, you know, doing something on the random motivation of doing it is you know good. It, it means you start doing something. But the best thing for you to personally do is to build a habit I suppose of doing something in the first place which is kind of what new year's resolutions in theory are kind of about not necessarily that it always works out for people but at the same rate you know it's it's better to try something it's try well nothing <laughs> at least in my opinion um so I forgot was... so yeah it was like restarting it again <laughs> you know some habits I, i've certainly got like locked in like flossing um well brushing my teeth i suppose it surprises me but not everyone always brushes their teeth for like at least twice a day or something um i, I do always brush my teeth twice a day and i i suppose i have my parents to thank for instilling that good habit in me but i also do floss uh, i don't floss twice a day mind you I, I floss once a day i do it once in the morning i don't do it in the evening um but it was not really much motivation for that it's just flossing does actually take like a bit of effort is it's not okay <laughs> let's be real it doesn't take that much effort but it's still like a bit of an annoyance i would say it's not like a complete walk in the park and uh, or anything like that and i've honestly felt like that doing it once a day feels like enough i don't know if it actually is you know according to like dentist recommendations or that sort of thing but it's something that i build up habit wise um but skincare was not something that like super i super got into the habit like as i say basically for like the past few years most of the time i would just use a moisturizer sometimes i would use my skincare products when i remember to um but like for the past week or so I, I, i'm like no so it's not even been a week for the past few days i suppose i've been like okay let's make sure i try and do it every single day so it's what i'll go to do i suppose after i finish recording this video and honestly my skin feels pretty good <laughs> like again uh, I, I got lucky I think when it came to skin stuff again not having oily skin is quite a benefit for a lazy skincare take a routine <laughs> um, but genetically I don't know I, like things were pretty beneficial you know like my skin I feel like is pretty decent um, my hair is actually pretty good I get a lot of compliments on my, my hair you know despite the fact I do no like hair care whatsoever apart from shampoo and conditioner it's pure pure lucky genetics or whatever have you like my hair's not too thin it's not too thick um it can grow out pretty long like i'm not getting like any sort of like um um i was gonna say balding but that's not the term i wanted um well it, it's a specific type of uh, alopecia um, that's what i wanted but like tension based alopecia or something which tends to be most common but whenever i wear like high ponytail hairstyles or anything like that um although you know bearing that in mind i don't do it I don't tend to do like high ponytails or things which would put my hair under a lot of tension much anymore because like why, why tempt that fate is probably how I'd best put it. What? Cherry blossom petal but do Don't we really have that? Huh? How That's what I'm confused by. I thought we have that in our park already. Do we not? Maybe we don't. Maybe we just have normal ones. Honestly, I've got no clue. Um, or maybe it's a different type. And, or maybe I got it from somewhere else. I don't even know where else I could have got it from, to be perfectly honest. I feel it's bizarre. Also, did we... Okay, we need to chop a bit more wood. Um, yeah, um, so I, I was sort of just like trying to be... 
try to get back into the swing of like using these products in the first place i suppose and then maybe i think once i start building up a habit of doing that i you know it would spurn my interest even further for taking care of like skincare and maybe i'll branch out to other things or like you know general skincare like uh, maybe i'll get more specific products and maybe i'll have a rotation of things which go on um you know i mean that, that happened with makeup like um like i didn't i didn't really use makeup for like ages really to be honest and when i started like getting getting used to like doing like basic makeup and that sort of thing and experimenting with more fancy things and now i'm like i'm not like an expert in makeup but you know i have my collection a growing collection i find the parts of my makeup i like best which is definitely nail polish uh, more than any nail polish and eyeliner uh, more than anything else and you know expand my horizons it's the same thing with hairstyles as well you know i used to never really do anything crazy in my hairstyles and then i started learning how to do braids and that sort of thing and now i can do very fun things in my hairstyle when i feel like it as of everything you know it is things are a, pro a process and you, you you've got to you got to be kind to yourself you've got to slowly ease yourself back into doing things in general um and, and this is just like another one of them I, I would say you know taking taking care of my skin is i think it's important like taking care of my health in general is important and it's something which i certainly should strive to do more often um exercise i think is a big sore point on my own behalf where i definitely don't do enough um but i should do more eating healthy i could definitely do better in i think um not to say that i do atrociously or anything but there's always room for improvement is perhaps how i'd say how i'd phrase it um but it's a sort of thing where it's like yeah okay you know but there's obviously things to work on things can always be better but i think by doing something i suppose as like a first step for improvement um people underestimate how much that can really sort of set off a sort of like chain reaction of things being improved things being improved things being improved and you might say that sounds like um fanciful sort of thinking like that doesn't really happen as a sort of something you tell yourself but uh, i do believe in it I, I do think you should be realistic as well it's not like i'm going to start doing skincare and i'm like wow well, everything about my life is going to be amazingly sort sort like sorted out and put together because of it no that's quite clearly ridiculous but i think it's any step is a good step i think in the right direction <laughs> and also just because my friend was just mentioning oh yeah you know he, his sort of like routine um his new year's resolution is to take care of his skin more to do skincare and then it's the, it's the, the contagious effect i suppose of people bettering their life is sort of what well, at least for me personally i'm just like other people do good stuff like that i'm like you know what? i want to do it too <laughs> i guess to me personally Maybe I have still some some subconscious doubts, I suppose, from like teenagehood for preteenhood or whatever, where you know I'm just like, oh, I can't do that. There's nothing. There's no way I'd ever be able to do something like that. And then having a friend do it or something, or someone who I respect or you know love or you know really care for, etc., etc., um, do it, sort of sparks it and need to be like, well, I mean, they're doing it. Like, obviously, I can do it as well. Like why not <laughs> like i guess it sort of exposes me being like well what excuse do you have now not in a way that's just like they even they can do it of course you can do it but it's sort of like um you know the, the only thing stopping you before was your um, own self-doubt i suppose where you made up this weird scenario where you are somehow exempt from uh, this thing which everyone else does you know in theory but you never really paid attention or heard about people doing now you have like a concrete example of someone doing it so it's sort of like all right put your money where your mouth is in and it's good you know it's, it's a good motivator i think personally <laughs> I, I say this in very early stages we'll see how often i suppose i frequently stick with doing the skincare thing i will say it's actually kind of fun <laughs> um the only thing i'm more concerned about is one it getting expensive and two i don't really necessarily know what products i should be buying but that's something you you sort of like learn is that the wind outside or is that my computer phone? It must have been wind so windy outside. Oh wow, it was so windy by the way on Sunday. I, I should talk about that a different day. But I don't know. I I guess now doing it, it sort of like tickles I'm not sure if funny bones right word, but it tickles something in inside me where I'm just like, yeah, this feels good, you know? <laughs> I guess self improvement is I'm now at the stage of my human life where self improvement rather than feeling like a chore is like now it feels like a good thing, you know. Now it's like, yeah. I'm doing it you know as to use more millennial terms i'm adulting <laughs> or something like that which is like you know feel good about it you should feel good about it you know 
fit you should feel good about doing something good for yourself right like but for one why would you feel bad like that's clearly outrageous but feeling feeling neutral about it is sort of like doing yourself a disservice isn't it now i don't mean to start, make it sound like i'm sitting here patting myself on the back being like good job me good job me i'm so good at doing like a very basic thing which lots of people you know do sort of like every day but um i don't know you, you gotta take these small victories when you get them in life because you, you don't know everyone's run your own race sort of scenario you needn't overcomplicate things but at the same time you know the simplest thing is just to i suppose celebrate them as they come and pass so yeah um hopefully you know hold me to this i suppose if you're watching you you know you, you can ask me at some point are you still taking care of your skin are you still doing your skincare routine and hopefully i'll be able to give you a resounding yes um but yeah hopefully in future i will continue this and you know at some point you know it will spark that little thing where i'm just like okay let, let's actually look a little bit more into skin prep skin prep skin care products and recommendations see what people like see what com companies are reputable and then i can i can build up a, a base foundation knowledge to actually use for skincare i suppose like i have with makeup where i'm like oh you know i use this company for this makeup type and this company for this makeup type you might be like, what do you use for your what? Well, I can I, I can tell you actually what I use exactly for my... Yeah, hold on. Is it this cherry blossom? Petal pearl. I must have got it as an item or something rather than a recipe. I don't... I, I genuinely don't know. You might be like, okay, what products do you use? Um, I actually don't have a primer. I, I need to get myself a primer because I, I was using this like south korean one or something but i ran out of it um so i need to like do some research into what will be a good one again um but when i use bujol foundation i use uh revlon concealer that might not be right that doesn't no i use i use maybelline fit me concealer i use the matte stain power powder what's it called it's the one which everyone uses is that one revlon no it doesn't sound right i don't know it's the one which everyone uses to be honest um what do you use for your eyebrows i use the naked um eye, eyeshadow palette you might be like why it was actually the tip I got, again for my sister um who it was a bit like I, I was using like eyebrow pencils which i still sometimes have and you know she was just like oh you know you can use like eyebrow sh uh, eyeshadow like palettes as well for it and i tried it and i was like it's so much better for me <laughs> it's so much simpler and you know less intense a color i find I also use that as my same sort of eyeshadow palette for when I'm using my my day-to-day -day sort of eyeshadow. What line do I use? NYX. <laughs> I to think about that one for a second. What what um, mascara do, you, do I use? I use Maybelline. Um, what the brands? Lipstick I just kind of use whatever. Um, nail polish I use Essie. I think that's all my makeup stuff. <laughs> Um, oh, you might be like, what skin care products are you using? Right, currently, what I'm using right now is this sort of like pre-made basic set thing, which, you know, part of me intrinsically wants to look down upon it, being like, oh, you know, it's clear that if I if I got like, if I'm using this set, I've not done my research, you know, when I could be using something which is technically even better for me. And then I've got to, you know, be kind to yourself. You know, you've got to be reflective. You've got to be self-aware in a sense. This is meant to be an intro sort of like beginner set to skincare or something like that and who am i i'm an intro i'm a beginner <laughs> i'm a novice i'm a dummy when it comes to skincare this is like the perfect thing for me these intro or these beginner bundles i suppose in general are perfect things to start getting into well anything really they shouldn't be looked down with disdain just because they're not necessarily the most optimal combination of things i could buy anyway it's um this one by a brand called the ordinary i don't know necessarily how good they are but you know again this was a gift from my sister and you know i trust her judgment so um yeah and it, and it feels pretty good <laughs> what can i say um anyway i'm gonna i guess i'm at now i'm gonna round this episode up here i don't really have much else to say about that uh don't ask me for like recommended um tips on like skincare that sort of thing i don't know i'm sort of just like making it up as i go along uh to be perfectly honest but it's kind of working so i i guess i can't really complain in that regard um but yeah i don't know someday i'm gonna have like a full skincare routine properly thought out properly well researched and everything and it's going to be glorious 
But on that note, I think I'm going to run this episode up here. So if you have been watching, thank you very much. It's been Animal Crossing New Horizons. I've been dear darling. Likes, comments, subscriptions, shares, greatly appreciated. Socials, Discord down below. Hope to see each other again. But for now, it's our farewell. So until next time, bye bye for now. <laughs>